So now let me show you how to create an event in the events module of Odoo. So for that, let's open the events. So this is the events module and we are going to create a brand new event. So you have a lot of events over here. So for you all to create a new one, click on new. And then here comes the option to specify the name of the event. So here I'm giving the name as conference for Sorry, I forgot to put the C. Okay. Conference for techies. Okay. So that's the name of my event. So it can be anything. It can be a concert or whatever it is. Okay. So that's it. And then you have the option which is to allow to display and manage event specific menus on website. This is to showcase the tracks and allow track proposals. Next, if you go down, you have the date. So this field, which is auto-populated, but can be modified, which indicates the scheduled date and time of the event. And this field is mandatory. So it will be taking the current day. So I'm just changing it to another day. Okay. And then clicking on apply, our date is set. Next, you have the time zone, which is also auto-populated, but editable. So you can edit it from the drop-down. And here you have language. So you can actually select a language for event communication if needed. And this field is optional. So I'm just leaving it as empty. Next, you have the template, which is to select a pre-configured event template from the list. So if you click on the, you know, drop down, you have different templates like the exhibition, training and sport. So what happens is that a ready-made template will be taken here, which actually reduces your work. So I'll simply show you. So here is the template and I'm putting training. Okay. So training is now chosen as a template. So if you want, you can remove it. So currently I'm not talking about templates. So in another video, I'll talk about template in detail. And next we have tags. So this is to briefly describe the event. I'm putting the tag conference over here, which actually suits for my event. Next, you have the organizer. So, obviously, that's the person who's organizing the event. Then you have the responsible person, the company, and the website. That is, you can make it available on a specific website. That is, you can restrict it from any other website. So, putting it empty makes it available in all the websites. And this is the visibility. So, you can make it public. You can make it for logged users only or people with a link. So, I'm putting it as public itself. And this takes the venue. So, it is the venue details. It will be taking the details corresponding to the organizer. And then the most important part, which is the limit registration. You can enable registration limits by ticking this box and entering the desired limit. So, I am putting the limit to 50. And here you have the badge dimension, which is the paper format dimension for event badges. It can be formats like A6, A4 foldable, 4 per sheet and so much more. So I'm putting it to A6 itself. And if you want to set a background for your badge, that background image can be uploaded from your file. Next, we have the most important area, which is the tickets, the communication questions and notes. So the next thing is to configure certain tickets for your event. So this is the event registration ticket. The price of this particular ticket is 30 and the maximum number of tickets for this price is 10. Okay, so that's what I'm setting. It's 10. Next, you have the other one. So I'm putting it to standard and the price I'm setting it to 50. And for this also, I'm setting 10. Okay, 10 tickets. And then I'm going to set VIP tickets, which is of the price 100. And that I'm putting it to. 30 okay so all together now we have 50 tickets okay so 50 tickets are there that's done now after you do this what you have to do go to the next tab which is communication so under communication you have the option to set template that is communication comes uh like communication is actually an important part in events that is to send certain you know registration mails or you know, any other information about the event, that is the starting time, if there is any change in the time, all these things comes under communication. So I'm going to add a line over here. It can either be a mail or an SMS. So let it be a mail. 
and the mail template I'm choosing is the registration confirmation. So here you have the interval. I'm setting it to two. So two days before the event, the event registration mail will be sent to the attendee. Next, I'm adding a line. I'm adding an SMS where I'm setting it to a reminder. So one hour before the event, a reminder will be set and sent to the attendee. So similarly, you can add communication methods over here. Next is to add questions. So once a person clicks on register, they'll have to attend certain questions. So you can add things like, oh, let's put as name. It's a mandatory answer and putting the field name, saving and closing it. So one question is added. The other one I'm adding is age. It's also a mandatory one. And I'm putting text input. Okay. And saving and closing it. Similarly, you can even add phone numbers also. So I'll just add phone number. I'm not putting it as mandatory. And here you have the phone. Save and close it. So three questions are now added to the event. And finally, we have notes. So under notes, you can actually add some internal notes. And then you have the ticket instructions. So instructions that are to be printed in the ticket can be specified over here. Like there'll be things like you have to enter these much hours before the event starts or, you know, or any such things that the timings and all can be given here. And those instructions will be taken to the tickets. So that's the basic things about the event. Now I'm going to save it. So currently we've created an event. Next thing is to publish it. Okay. So here you have the option to go to website, which is actually in red color, which denotes to the unpublished event. So I'm going to website. And from here, I'm just publishing it. So here is the conference for techies. And then here you have the button, which is to register. You can see the start and end date and time and all. The location is there. All such things are there. So I'm going to register. So they are asking, there are three tickets, three types of tickets is what we've created, right? So here I'm putting normal registration tickets of $30 and I'm registering it for two people. One name is already taken. So I'm giving an age for this person and the other one. So let the name be Tom and the age I'm giving it as 25. So this phone number is actually, you know, an optional one. So don't need to think. I mean, fill it up. So after specifying the details, that is the questions, click on go to payment and confirm it. So here you can see the total amount and click on confirm. So after confirming, you can pay now. And then you can see your payment has been successful and processed. So it's done. So from here, you can actually download your tickets. So I'm just downloading it. Let's wait. So tickets for two people is downloaded right now. Now let's go back to the event and check. So if you go and open the tech keys, you can see attendees two, which is Michelle Edmin and Tom. So for two people, we've actually, you know, registered and the sole sales status actual, uh, as well as the status that is whether it's registered or not and all is given here. And from here, you can mark as attending and even cancel the tickets. Okay, so this is basically how you actually create an event and, you know, register for an event. And if you click on more, you can see the sales, how much price you got from it. The tracks and all can be seen here. And this is actually published. And that's the reason why it shows in green color. If you want to contact the attendees or even generate leads out of these attendees, you can do that from here. And here, this will take you to the registration desk as well as invite. So if you click on registration desk, go there so from here you can actually you know conference for techies welcome you can actually select the attendee so these are the different attendees so i'll just choose michelle admin you can see continue okay so this is how the registration desk looks like so that that person can be in for the event and here you have the invite so if you click on invite this is to actually invite the attendees. So this is the subject automatically. The receipt, I mean, uh, yeah, the recipients can be chosen from here. It can be contact or any other models. So I'm putting it as contact itself. And if you want to add any filter, you can do that. 
and the male body also can be chosen. So I am choosing this as the male body. See, this will be the male body. Okay, you can change the content from here as well and then you can simply send it to the customer. So I am sending it to all. See, so that's how you invite people to the event as well. So that's all. I hope this is clear. That is, I hope you guys now know how to create an event in Ubuntu.